Good day, everyone, and thank you for joining uh, our inaugural edition of SCORE Boston Presents. This month, we are uh, highlighting uh, Jackie Sinna. Jackie is the founder of Lemon House Publishing, and uh, it is a company, a small business, uh, that empowers children by teaching them the process of writing their own children's book. So, Jackie... Thank you very much for being with us today. Thanks so much for having me. So, so tell us, tell us about Lemon House Publishing. Uh, yeah. How long have you been in business, and and how did you start? Absolutely. So, I went to school for early childhood education. So, I always wanted to be a teacher. And in 2019, I published my first children's book, Addie Wants to Fit In. And so, all of a sudden, I became a children's book author, and I realized that. It was a way for me to connect with kids and come into schools and do author visits. And so I did that spring 2019 um, and fall 2019, approaching our big year of 2020, not knowing that everything was about to shut down. Mm -hmm. And I started developing a curriculum to teach kids the process of writing their own children's books. And that to me, I realized when I held my book in my hands for the first time and just saw all the work that went into it and all the things that, you know, I learned from it and all of that, that if I could give a kid that confidence and that pride, uh, that's all of a sudden became my, my mission. And so I developed this curriculum and I did my pilot program in Needham, Massachusetts, um, of course, in person, because that was a normal thing at the time in January, 2020. And the last class was canceled because of COVID. All the schools were shut down in March. And so we jumped on Zoom and it got a little crazy, but they finished their books. I had a group of nine fifth and sixth grade girls and they finished writing their own books. And it actually gave them a great project for those first few weeks of COVID because they had something to work on. And, and so they, they write their own stories and they do their own illustrations. Um, and it, with the, with the writing piece, it's kind of fun. They get to collaborate with each other. They get to do some peer editing, give each other feedback, receive feedback. I think on both ends, it's super valuable. And, and then they break it into 12 pages and then they do 12 12 corresponding illustrations. So everything had to pivot. Of course, at that point, spring 2020, we took everything virtual. Um, and I was doing a lot of one-on-ones to kind of just continue to get familiar with this curriculum that I was building and ironing out. And then by fall 2020, uh, we started doing after-school extracurricular um, programs, which are eight weeks. And uh, we established right before we started that we established as an LLC in July of 2020, so that we could publish their books on Amazon for them. And so what we do is at the end of the program, they submit everything to us, we format it into a book, um, an exterior and interior, all the pages. And then we, of course, with parent permission, we upload it and and publish it to Amazon. And then all of the profits that come from those book sales go to a local literacy charity that we partner with called Storytime Crafts, which is also a really fun thing because the kids, you know, know that they're giving back and, and that all of their hard work in these eight weeks plus um, is really helping their community, which is really awesome. So it's just been a really awesome whirlwind of, <laughs> you know, starting with something just an idea and kind of seeing where it went. Um, we were virtual for the first year and a half, fully Zoom, um, which was cool because we got to we got to reach students in in uh, Saudi Arabia and Europe and the UK and and that was awesome. And then since for the last year or so, we've been fully in person in the Boston area. Um, we teach in three different locations right now, Needham, Chestnut Hill, and Newton. And um, I personally love the in-person interaction um, with the kids, of course, and with the parents. So that's kind of what we're doing now, but definitely some hopes and dreams to continue growing virtually to kind of expand our reach in the future as well. That's awesome. That's great. So uh, you've been in business for a few years. Uh, yes. What has been your greatest accomplishment or success uh, being in business? Yeah, 
So right before the end of 2022, we published our 200th book. So written by, so we have students usually um, about eight to 12 years old. So we've had 200, more than 200 children go through this for sure, but 200 who have finished and published. And that felt like a really big milestone for us. Um, you know, I feel like I can also certainly speak to the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm doing this full time. I've had enough interest to kind of keep this going for, you know, two and a half years. I think all of that to me is success. Um, but to kind of have the numbers and the milestone and, and, to have students come back to write sequels and write second books and third we actually have one student who, who has written four books with us so to see that you know there's this repetition they want to come back they love the experience they're sending their siblings and their neighbors and their friends um that that's huge for me and that you know i i really think that's how we value our success and and that it's just kind of continued to grow um over the last two and a half years Awesome. So uh, small businesses, uh, you know, the owners, the founders, they have to wear a lot of hats and you have to be the CEO, the CFO, the you know, vice president of sales. Uh, as you think back, what has been the greatest challenge to you in running your business? Mm, yeah, I think um, the CFO part for me <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, definitely finding resources. I mean, finding score has been amazing for me. And I actually found score through a program that I was doing at Babson that um, ended up recommending score to me. And so finding resources that have helped me with the kind of the financial piece, the numbers um, kind of, you know, I mean, our program is, is typically fall winter, spring, and then sometimes we do summer classes. So knowing that these, these, you know, the, the, the money comes in, in waves <laughs> is great, but it also, you know, makes us realize we need to, we need to kind of figure out, you know, over a full year, um, or quarter, what does that look like? And, and how do we kind of sustain it and kind of keep it going on those months that we don't have enrollment because the students are busy writing their books. Yep. Um, so, so finding those resources for the financial piece, I would say has been the most necessary for me. Um, again, I went to school for early childhood education. I didn't go for business. And so, um, I think, there's a lot that I'm still learning with that, um, but really leaning on those resources has been a huge game changer for me. Excellent. Excellent. Any advice for people out there who are thinking of starting a business? Mm, okay. So I feel like there were, there were things that I tried to do before I kind of landed on something that worked. And, and I think again, kind of telling my story quickly of, you know, I wrote my own book and then I had this kind of just drive of, I want others to have the same feeling of how exciting and, and proud I am of this book. I think that has been my driving factor. So I think, you know, I never went into it. Of course, yes, you need to make money to continue this and, you know, to make this sustainable and to make this something that I can do full time, but it was never, you know, a goal of X amount of dollars or, or X amount of whatever. It was really, this impact. And, you know, I feel like it sounds kind of cliche, but I think just having the passion and the drive behind it is the only reason that two and a half years later, I'm still doing this. So I think finding something that really lights you up, um, that's, you know, what I found going into those schools, doing author visits and, and sitting one-on-one -on -one with kids and sitting in small groups. It's like those moments that, I love what I do and I don't want to stop. And so then I kind of have to figure out all the hard stuff in between to make it still, you know, kind of keep going and keep it sustainable. Um, so I think really finding like tapping into that one thing that lights you up, that, that brings you excitement that you could talk about for hours. Um, I think that's the only way to kind of keep it, um, exciting and successful and moving forward. Um, especially on the days that, you know, are a little harder. Right. So now you're a writer. Let's yeah. do a little bit of back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> favorite book? Oh, Where the Wild Things Are. <laughs> favorite author? 
Um, this is funny. I just reread Judy Bloom's um, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, which I read in like middle school. <laughs> and she's always been a favorite of mine. So I'll go with her. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, favorite score, Counselor? Of course, Rob. <laughs> You've been awesome. That Truly. last one was a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the easiest one. No, seriously, though, like having regular meetings with you, being able to just come and share and update and celebrate and complain and all the things, um, you know, you've gotten to know me and my business over the last year. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how long year and a half probably. Um, and I just, I can't thank you enough. It's been so valuable to just have the constant kind of, um, check checkpoints and check-ins and, um, you know, asking, Hey, did you check in on this? I'm like, Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Let me get back to that. You know, otherwise the time just goes by and it just, you know, you need to keep moving forward. And so you've helped me with that so much. So thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Well, that's what uh, SCORE is here for, to help and walk alongside you. And I can tell by your energy, uh, you're destined for success. Uh, and it's been a, a great pleasure to work with you as well. And for those that are out there watching this on, on the uh, web, uh, by all means, uh, get in touch with us. Oh, by the way, uh, Jackie, if people want to get in touch with you or, or your company, how can they do Do you have a website? Yes, lemonhousepublishing.com. And we're on Facebook and Instagram. Definitely check us out. All right. So uh, everybody out there, thank you for tuning in. We'll be uh, having other uh, interviews in the coming months. But we uh, again, thank Jackie for being with us here today.